In the previous section, we covered some of the new and interesting features in the .NET framework. Now in this section, we'll be learning about the new features in the IDE, Visual Studio 2015. So there's been a lot of new changes in the IDE of Visual Studio. In this section, we are going to take a look at a few key ones. The first is the new light bulb. Then we're going to follow up with the discussion about refactoring and renaming, how that improves our productivity. And then we'll close with a talk about the debugging improvements that we now have. So let's go ahead and move on to the first video of this section, which talks about the new light bulb feature. And the best way to discuss this is through a demonstration. So why don't we go ahead and start with the demonstration within Visual Studio. The light bulb in Visual Studio allows you to perform certain actions. It gives you a preview window before executing changes. So if we were to hover or click on the directives that aren't needed, you'll notice that a light bulb shines. Right now I'm hovering on line 4, and you can see a little light bulb right here. So now if I were to click the drop-down arrow, a preview window will pop up. And this is essentially a view of what will change if I were to continue. Everything you see highlighted in red would be removed, and what's not highlighted would be left alone. Now you'll notice at the bottom is a section called Preview Changes. You can select a document, project, or solution. This essentially gives you control of the scope that the IDE should consider for the changes. So if I were to click Solution, it'll show me all areas of the solution and all files that will be affected by the change. And when I click Apply, it goes ahead and removes the directives and the entire solution. Now notice also that after applying the changes, you'll see a colored bar next to the numbers that appears where the changes took place. If you recall, in Visual Studio 2013, when you needed to import a namespace, you could use control dot as a shortcut. And it's the same here also. However, now the light bulb comes into play. So let's go ahead and remove the one directive that we have here. I'll delete that and click Save. And now Visual Studio starts to complain. But as soon as I hover over it, the light bulb shines and I have an option to click that drop down arrow again and then choose the using statement from here that's applicable. Or if I were to not hover over it and just navigate down with the cursor key, hold the control key and hit the period key, the window to import the using statement still pops up except now it comes up with the features of the light bulb. It really feels to me that the overall theme when rebuilding this version of Visual Studio was simplification. And the light bulb really does add to that effort. So in this video, we briefly explored the new light bulb feature. Just keep in mind that this is a new productivity feature. So it's there to help you save some time. And in Visual Studio, there's so many different things you could do. I try to allocate at least one minute or two minutes a day trying to do something new that I haven't done in it before. And over time, it gradually accumulates and indirectly improves my productivity. So you might want to try that approach, or maybe you have another. But do keep in mind, this is all for productivity. So yeah, it seems kind of cool to do. But overall, it really helps save time. And that translates into money in the long run. All right?